Hello, Trinet Sister Root. I filmed a really, really nice demonstration uh, earlier, uh, earlier in the day, that is. And, you know, I got lunch at Eaton Center afterwards. Two minute Greeks, great place. And then I thought about it. Should I rush home and get the video edited at home? Or should I use, go to the Apple Store and do it? So I did that. I movie pr and and I did uh, preview it. It looked like crap. I don't know why. And Final Cut Pro both because I like to choose nitty gritty settings to make sure videos are good quality. The file size is nominal, which means pretty big sometimes. And it looked like as if the quality I set to was low to medium. No. I gotta say, from a non-Mac user's point of view, it has so many fucking hoops to jump through just to render a single video file. Just to even get to the point of rendering it. You have to wait to one. It copies the file to the library. That could take a long time if it's a lot of files, especially big ones. And two, when you hit render, no. It does not render to a video file. It renders to a Final Cut Pro library instead. That's what it does. In iMovie, you gotta hit share and you have to select where to save it. And yes, it saves it. But it saves it in low quality. Yes, low quality 1080p. Unfortunately. The bit rate was, ah, uh, because I looked at it. The file wasn't very big. It was only turned to be 500 megabytes. You know what that bitrate maybe pretty small so I tried Final Cut Pro 10.7 gigabytes in size however regardless what frame rate I chose I chose 30 it saved it to 20 frames per second 1080i I don't know what the fuck caused that because I chose the settings exactly how I wanted them it, eventually it lets you do that and no it did not save to that it saved to something else which I didn't want and it took three hoops to jump through just to render the file where is in Kden live or most other video editing sites because I dabbled a bit with Sony Vegas and a few others you just click your drop on the timeline your arrange your effects your transitions your composites or whatever, and you click render. You choose the save location, you choose what resolution, the frame rate, because you can edit profiles in that. With Kata Live, it's pretty simple just in that regard. And you click render, and that's it. It saves it to that resolution, to that specification that Joe chose. It doesn't do that to what you want on Apple's iMovie or Final Cut Pro. It goes by their specifications only. That's frustrating. Very frustrating. <sighs> and not to mention, due to silly administrative privileges or whatever, I couldn't get KDN Live running on any of the computers of the Apple Store, nor could the associates there figure that out. Because they don't know the passwords for all the pre-installed images. Oh, boo-hoo. Yeah. That sucks. Well, anyways, the video is now rendering on my machine in the proper quality. It's not going to look like shit like it did because parts of it were really blurry. No, sorry. Uh, not blurry. Really washed out. And that's not what I wanted to see. I expected more. So it's rendering. I don't know how long that's going to take. It's estimate shows four hours. So if it's going to take four hours, let it take four hours. At least it'll be up before I go to bed anyways. So that's about all. A short constructive rant. And something I've learned. The iMovie can be in the pain. Sorry, it could be a pain in the fucking ass. 
You're better off using KDN Live on your own Mac if you have one. Once you get started with that, it's not difficult. It's, it's a timeline based one, so it's easier. Much easier. And it's not so frustrating. Anyways, thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more. Did I say it properly? Feel free. Probably didn't, but whatever. And subscribing does not cost a thing. Hit the like button if you want. I don't care if you don't. Because if you hit the other one, it hides the video from your timeline. And you cannot find it no more. That's pretty stupid, isn't it? So, just don't hit that. Otherwise, you're not going to find my content. Well, at least until you sign out. Ah, uh, yeah. Later.